This video will demonstrate how to calibrate the drop counter. First use the clamp to secure the drop counter to the ring stand and position the drop counter just above a 10 milliliter graduated cylinder. Adjust the syringe height until the tip is just above the drop counter. Replace the graduated cylinder with a waste beaker. There are two stop cocks on the drop counter. The top stop cock controls the drop rate and the bottom stop cock is only for turning the syringe on and off. Open the bottom stop cock all the way and then use the top stop cock to change the drop rate until it is about one to two drops per second. Once you achieve this, turn off the bottom stop cock. Once the drop rate is set, put the graduated cylinder back in place. Go to the digit screen in the SparkView software. If necessary, click on the measurement and change the measurement type to drop count. Press the record button so that the software will begin recording drops as soon as you open the bottom stop cock. When you are ready, open the bottom stop cock and make sure you do not adjust the top stop cock. If you look at the face of the drop counter, you'll see that there is a green LED light that flashes every time a drop passes through the drop counter. It is important that you do check that this LED is flashing, which will tell you that the drop counter is functioning properly. Turn off the bottom stop cock when the graduated cylinder contains between 9.5 and 10 milliliters of titrant. Once the stop cock is off, press stop to stop recording data. In this case, we collected exactly 10.00 milliliters of titrant, which corresponded to 308 drops from the drop counter. To enter your calibration data, simply go to the Experiment Tools button, click on Calibrate Sensor, change the sensor to drop counter if needed, click Next, Calibration point 1 is automatically set to the default value of 0, and in calibration point 2, enter the volume collected in the graduated cylinder, which here was 10.00 milliliters, and then click Read from Sensor. The drop count should be automatically entered into the Sensor Value box. Click OK, and the calibration is complete.